Okay, here we are. So um, we have a fully functional um, Supercellar website at the moment. Okay, let's have a look. Um, in the previous videos, I showed you how to make your Supercellar page. I showed you how to create your package in WooCommerce and how to set up your funnel with cart flows. Okay, we're going to see what happens when I say buy now. And this is your checkout page when they say PayPal. Um, it opens this. Since we are in incognito mode, it's going to ask me for 5kclients.com. And I mean, that's normal because, um, oh no, that's not how you say it. Support at 5kclients.com. Because, you know, any checkout process needs an email. And remember, we're selling 200 to 500 um, and over packages. So as you see here, you can either pay with PayPal or you can pay with a credit card. And uh, yep, so that's it's working. Let's close that. And what I'm going to show you in this video is all the cool plugins that I'm going to install to make your website better. So the first one which I think is really important because you're going to be adding images to your website and those images are probably going to be very big images and we don't want them to be um, slowing your website so just type smush in and this is a really good plugin by WPMU Dev these guys are really good I'm going to show you how to um, in fact it has 1 million active installations so this is another one of the plugins that I use, and I might show you how to use how to install that. So just activate it, and we are going to set it so that when you so go to Smush, so that when you upload images, you are not going to be uploading huge images that are going to slow your site. So let's say begin setup automatically up optimize new uploads. This is why I'm installing it because I don't want um, non-optimized images on our website. Next, exif metadata, take out any metadata. We don't need metadata, you're not a photographer, so we don't need metadata in our images. Yep, enable lazy loading because what happens is that we don't want to load all the images on a page, we just want to load the images that are directly visible to the user. Finish, setup wizard, and then we'll have a look if all the settings are okay. All right, so you can actually enable image resizing. Yep, enable image resizing. This is the max resolution our images are going to have. I would actually even go ahead and say 1,600. If your site's not about photography, make it 1,600. Largest image and may result in pixelation at, okay, so yeah, just, I don't know, just say that, but that's, that's fine, man. Strip metadata, automatically smush image on not all sizes, we want all sizes to be optimized. Okay, you have three attachments that need smushing. Okay, first of all, just say update settings. And then if you have any Im images, just say bulk schmess now. If you have problems viewing images, then you have a problem with lazy load and just deactivate it here. Okay, let's go back to plugins. And remember, let me go to our website again. Sorry about this. Go to website, visit site. So this is actually supposed to be a um, supposed to stick to the to the header when it reaches the header. That's what we're going to do right now. So let's go to add new plugins. Add new should be good at this by now, huh? Come on, sticky menu. This is the one I'm using, but you can use any one you want. There you go. If you're using Elementor Pro, 
there is a plugin for that. Install now. Max Mega Menu, maybe we should use this. Who knows? There's so many, but we're going to use this one. And okay, so let's go to settings, sticky menu. And basically, you have to tell this plugin which section you want to stick to the header. So we're just going to say sticky header. Remember to add or a class to it. I just add a, um, a hashtag, which is the ID. It's not a class. So just write some, uh, add the hashtag and write something, whatever you want. Say copy. Let's go to our homepage or whatever this is. Say edit with Elementor. And this always takes a bit of time. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply that class, that ID, to the element that's supposed to become sticky. And I'm also going to tell you something about your logo here. This is way too big. In fact, I set it to be max 60 height. Let's see if it does it. It does. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't listen. That's how it's supposed to be, you know, that big. You don't want this thing taking up too much space. Because, see, when we, if we want to add the ID, just click here, go to Advanced, CSS ID. So we added it. It's not in the right place. Delete. Sticky header. Okay. Say update. Now, who knows if it's going to work? It doesn't work. What you want to do is um, reload the page. Let's see if it works. It has to work. Or did we save it? We didn't save it. So remember to save this. When you write it out, remember to save settings. Okay. Awesome. Settings saved. Let's go back to our home page. We were editing it. Editing it. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it doesn't work because the, um, the JavaScript needed to load to do that stuff is not working. We're just going to try and load it again. Okay. Yeah, that saving thing always gets me. Um, I add, you know, I update settings and then I forget to save them. Always check if you're doing that right. Let's see if it works. Okay, there you go. It works. Now, what you see hovering over it, these are um, Elementor interface. Um, elements. You won't see that happen. And just remember to add a logo that is max. I mean, you can add any image here, but it's going to be max 60 height. So don't make it too big. We don't want it to be this huge. You see, that's how we want it to be. Just something small that reminds the person, you know, where they can do some, some navigation because this page is pretty long. But don't make them go out of this page. Every link must stay on this page. The only links that are going out are the are these ones, the buy now ones, okay? So we've done this update. We're updating this. Um, so yeah, that's how you make a sticky header, okay? Let's go back to the dashboard and we're gonna install another awesome plugin Basically, when someone buys from you, we want to send them an email with instructions, maybe, right? And we want that to go automatically. So just write Woo Custom Emails. Custom Emails per product, that's it. Install now. Woo Custom Emails. Product add ons. Products, then is a custom form builder. So WooCommerce product page, yeah, we don't need that. There's so many things in here that, um, but like in our paid version of this, we've got all the pro stuff. So we're not going to be, you're not going to be installing all these, all these plugins because basically all this stuff is managed by fewer plugins. So we have that installed. All you have to do is go to custom emails over here. So let's just click here, see where it takes us. Okay, so there are no custom emails. Let's add one. Doesn't matter. Um, buy, whatever. Say publish. 
yeah, let's go back. Why do I not see any any um, edit? Okay, so I added it here, but basically, let's see what settings has. Show legacy content, doesn't matter. If you want extra classes, just add them here. But basically, once you add an email, so you say this email is goes out, this is an email. Um, oh, I get it, yeah, okay, so this email goes out, um, what, right after they buy? So you say edit on buy or whatever, call it whatever you want. And this is where you put the email in. You can actually write out your email right here. So you say, hey, Marco here. This is the PDF you bought or whatever, you know? You can add images. Pretty sure you can add images somewhere. Yeah, add media right here. Blah, blah, and then you update it. And then you go to your product, all products, web design, say edit. This is our package, you know, the package we created that is supposed to bring us Zimonis. And then you go down, go to custom emails. Then basically, you can send an email according to what stage is the, the order. So when someone buys the order, it's probably going to go into processing as the first thing. And then you choose which email to send. So when it's on processing, you start typing. So we our email was called buy. So let's just call it buy on buy. So it says send this email on when when the when the order is on processing and put it because what happens is um, WooCommerce sends out already an invoice or an order summary with customer details and all the things that the order has. So you can tell WooCommerce where you want this custom um, message to show. You want to show it on top of everything? That's what I advise. After the order details, order meta, I don't know this other extra stuff, or after customer details. I suggest just to add it here. And then, yeah, you just um, update the product. And then when they buy it, they will be getting that email. So that was um, one product, one plugin, sorry. Let's go to plugins, check if we have the WooCommerce abandonment. We don't have WooCommerce abandonment. So what happens is when someone goes to your checkout and starts putting in their details and then abandons it, we want to capture that stuff and send them an email to try and get them back, right? So let's say woo cart of abandon. That's probably one B. WooCommerce cart. WooCommerce cart abandonment recovery. So install now. This is really important because you got people to your page. They were just about to buy and for some reason they stopped buying. And we want to be able to um, get them back, you know, increase our the possibilities of getting them back. Where would we go for that? Go to WooCommerce, go down to cart abandonment. And basically... Um, it'll tell you how many recoverable orders you have, how many orders were recovered, lost orders means they're not recoverable, and stuff like that. So what we want to do is we're going to go to follow-up emails, and you see you have you have three three emails that are going to be sent out. Um, this is the email subject, and this is the you know, 30 minutes after abandonment. It'll send out this one day after abandonment. It'll send it out. Blah blah blah, etc. Remember to activate them, and then if you want to edit what the email says, just go into edit. And yeah, activate the template. 
This is the template name. This is the email subject. This is what, what went out. These are pretty good, actually. And, yeah, it, um, just, uh, just use this. I'm putting it. Yeah, basically, it's pretty cool. So I was used to send a new coupon for this template. So you basically say, hey, man, notice you left. I want to give you a coupon, fixed card discount, 100 coupon amount. And that's going to expire in what? Let's say eight hours. And just say that in the email, you know. This is actually the link, Earl Checkout. So if you want, if you want to keep this, but you want to change the text, just go into edit. Uh, yeah, so just keep that. Make sure it says, just copy it somewhere so it doesn't, you know, link options. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just change the text here. So if you want to say something else, um, use your coupon now. Like, for example, use your coupon now, something like that. Just say update. Um, you see, you can basically link to anything you want here. But that's basically the cart checkout bro. So update. Um, I would basically, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Coupon expiry date allows you to grant free shipping. We don't have shipping, but if you want, you can add it. Auto apply coupon, automatically add the coupon to the cart. That's awesome. So send this email 30 minutes after cart abandonment and send test email to so you can even test it out. That's just that's just awesome, dude. When 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 was this even possible? Settings start capturing abandoned carts. Yeah, that has to be on. Disable for disable for everybody basically. Author, contributor, subscriber, nah, shop manager. Delete coupons automatically on a weekly basis if you want to. Delete everything. Remember to change this, I would say 5k clients support or something like that. Or just say Marco, you know, whatever your name is. So it looks like it's, you can actually trigger a web, webhook. So when that happens, it'll trigger some other process. That's awesome. And that's it, guys. That's that's uh, WooCommerce abandonment recovery for free. I mean, who else gives you that? Okay, the I have the other last two plugins that I think you should install. And um, let's go to plugins if I can find it. There it is. And the last one is gonna completely blow your mind, guys. Um, that's why. WordPress is so awesome because you can add basically anything you want and just increase the, 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 the abilities of your website. Hustle. This is what you want. It's made by the same guys that made the thing that is optimizing your images. I think it's really user friendly. There are so many of these. This is basically, yeah, sorry. I should have said install now immediately. Basically, when someone tries to leave your website, a pop-up comes up. So you know how we were sending a coupon to um, people that were leaving the checkout. You can do the same thing here and give them something for free or a coupon. So basically, so install it. Just go to Hustle. And I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up. Hey, Marco, get started. Yeah, let's do this. Get started. We want to pop up, create. There you go, my man. Let's start by choosing an appropriate content. Yeah, we want an email opt-in because that's basically, we want to capture these people. What's the name of this pop up? Okay, the name would probably be, um, this is, this is not visible anywhere on your website. This is only for you. So I'd call it exit intent or freebie, freebie or coupon, whatever you want. Let's call it freebie, okay? Go ahead. So pop-up was created successfully. 
and let's give it a title let's say yes I want an a hundred dollar coupon subtitle I don't know yeah you don't want to miss this offer let's say let's put it like you don't want to miss this offer or whatever you can add an image if you want call to action don't add a call to action because the call to action is going to be submit if you want add a never see this link again but don't do that that's a draft let's go to emails okay so this is this is the these are the forms let's say preview so you understand what's going on this is basically what, what they see so um yeah that sucks i wish that was centered i use css to make it centered um but um let's uh let's close this we don't need first name last name so we're going to delete this delete you can say first name or just name or you could say let me see something preview john ne what you say is enter your name here settings um yeah that's optional styling yeah we could give it a styling but and then this one is the same thing yeah enter your email here settings Email is required exactly. Apply. Your submit button. Always change it. Submit is seen everywhere. Yeah, say, give, send me my coupon. Something like that, you know? Apply. You want to be really clear on what they're getting. That's, that's basically. Success message, if you want, add a success message. You can even redirect them to a thank you page where you have a pixel and send an automated email to users. Send an automated email to the user after they have subscribed. So basically, once they subscribe, you can send an email with the coupon in it. The actual, you know, the coupon that they had to put in inside it. So that's where you put here. Here is your coupon. So you could say, add, I'm not sure, it'd be cool if you could, you probably could say, say, hi, first name, you know, here is your coupon. And then just write out the coupon here, start writing, blah, blah, blah. Say integrations. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Send this pop-up data to a third-party application. Um, you can send this to your your Mailchimp, but I'm going to be doing another training for all of that because it takes much longer. But you can basically basically integrate this with Mailchimp or whatever type of um, third-party application you're using. Okay. Local list connect. Connect to more third via integrations page. Yeah, but this is the integrations page. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Do that another time. Integrations. Allow you already subscribe users to submit the form. Okay, if they've already submitted the form, don't disallow. That's perfect. I don't want you sending it too many times. Okay. So let's see what happens if we do this because I don't like the way the text is. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let's do this. Yeah, looks a little better. Do that. You can add design here, a lot of design options. And you can basically, if you turn this on, you can use custom CSS. This takes out this takes out their their styling, so you don't see anything basically. So don't do that. You have no CSS 
experience, don't do that. And yeah, this is where you change everything. So you can drop a shadow, you can add a border. I like the buttons to have a border, but that's not about the button. Okay, visibility. Okay, so we have to add a condition. When does this page pop up? Basically, um, I want to sh show up only on the steps page. Steps is the mm, funnel, the, fun the pages of the funnel. So you add that condition. So it's going to show up on steps. I can choose which steps it shows up. So only on the super seller. And yep, that's good. Next. And so the behavior, I want it to show up on that page, but only when they think about exiting. Exit intent will show only detecting that. Trigger once per session. I don't want it showing every time. Animation settings, pop up, entrance. We can, you know, just make it fade in or you can make it bounce, bounce in, up. Let's see what happens. Boom. Yep. Yeah. We could do it bounce in down. Yep. That's good. Close pop up when click outside. Pop up closed. Yeah. You know, keep showing the message. Page scrolling. Choose whether to enable page scrolling in the background. So basically, when it's up, they can't scroll. Oh, here you, here you can, but on the home page, you, you probably can't. Just that's what you choose here. Visibility after opt-in. Keep showing this module. Yeah, no longer show this module across the site. You don't want this showing. Once he opts in, you don't want it showing. And then just say publish Reno. Ready to go. So now, when someone arrives on your website and tries to leave, you can try capturing them. In that way so I think that's important that's why I added this to you now the last plugin guys is totally awesome seriously because I don't know <clears throat> how they're giving this away for free and they probably have no that I know for sure that they have a pro version of this so right in Astra say install now Installed, activate, this thing basically gives you so many templates to build your site with if you want to make other pages. Because what I showed you is just the super seller, which in my opinion is all you need, okay? You only need that. You don't need anything else. But if you want to get fancy and have an about page and blah, 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 etc., then do, do that if you want, okay? Thank you for using Astra. Check out the library of Ready Starter Sites here. Click on that. Now select the page builder. We have done everything with Elementor till now, so that's what I'm gonna do. Otherwise use Gutenberg. And Astra has a pro version. Okay, Astra theme needs to be activated for you to use currently installed Astra slides. So install and activate now, boom. I think that's the only way to do it because I looked in the plugins and it wasn't there. I looked in themes and it wasn't there. There you go, guys. So what you do is, if you're not here and you don't know where to find it, Appearance Astra Starter Sites. This is so awesome. Okay. So look at all these sites you can install. Oh my God, this is just crazy. Look, it's loading. This is more than 100. 101, I think. Okay. So let's install this one. Looks pretty cool. So basically, let's say, say preview. Uh, get agency bundle, what's that mean? I have no idea what that means. Close that. So basically, it had this icon here. Now I have to buy it. Yeah, that sucks. Anyways. You can use the ones that don't have agency on it. Okay. 
uh, 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 uh. your 100 library ready-made templates, Astra starter sites. But the cool thing about this is, okay, you, you, okay, so let's say this. We want this preview. Okay, we want this. This is the one we want. And this is fine, man. I mean, I'm telling you, you don't need this. But if you want to have, you know, extra pages, blah, 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 then do this. It's free. But once you, like, once you, you don't have to do this. But what's awesome is it has, so basically it has, it has an awesome theme manager. So let's just, um, so basically, even if I did, let's leave this page here and go back to your dashboard. Go to appearance. Let's go to appearance. So we're using our Act Astra Astra theme, and let's click on customize. So we haven't in actually installed this thing yet. Okay. Uh, what's so cool is now you have a way to manage a whole bunch of things here without having actually installed a theme okay so this page we told we told um, we told WordPress that this was going to be our home page but we can let's see what happens when we in, add another page so let's see what sample page looks like with the Astra theme installed let's say edit and then we'll view it, okay? So yeah, you can add blocks by clicking here, but we're always gonna use Elementor. That's Gutenberg, this is Elementor. Sample page, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what it looks like, preview. So this is basically the, the, the Astra WordPress theme. And uh, the awesome thing about the Astra WordPress theme is that it loads your pages in, in crazy fast times. And <clears throat> if you test out on Google PageSpeed, you get awesome um, scores, which is really good for um, Google. It's really good for conversions because you want the page to load as fast as possible. You don't want to lose visitors due to slow loading times. Okay, so I'm going to just install this page. You know, where were we before? Import site. And see what happens. So you can import any of the sites that you saw before. Don't do anything until this is done. Um, yeah, so you basically have a kick-ass site ready to start generating traffic in no time. Mm. And that's the most important thing. So what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be sending people to your, to your landing page of your packages. And those packages have to be um, structured in a way that... Um, makes it a no-brainer for whoever's there. So whatever you're selling, what, what are you? Are you an SEO guy? Are you a copywriter? Are you a FB ads expert? Try to create a package that costs so little that people are like, dude, I have to buy from this guy. And the trick here is that these people are going to become your clients because they they're already really going to buy from you because they're entering your funnel at a low price point. And then you can upsell them, upsell them things um, as you relate yourself to them, as you, as you talk to them, as you send them emails and stuff like that. So there you go. This is now your website. That's pretty cool. So they, basically it set, it, set, uh, it changed your homepage it changed your home page and um, so let's say that you want this to be your home page but you still want to have that landing page so what you do is um, let's go back to cart flows 
and remember go here this is your landing page so let's edit you're still gonna have it here this, this is you're still gonna see it here so if you click here you're still gonna see your landing page and this is the landing page you're gonna use to sell your your stuff okay now as I said use a small logo here this is taking way too much space and yeah guys that's basically it um i hope i uh i um i helped you uh, helped you out in creating a super seller website remember that um the important the important the important thing of this website is that um we want it to solve a client's problem very easily we want it to um be a no-brainer for the client because when they see that price <clears throat> they're gonna be like yeah i have to buy that and that's it guys as always if you want we can set up this free version for you at no cost just um fill in the opt-in at the bottom um, fill in the optum at the bottom, put it, give us your email and we'll send it over to you. You will have 14 days to, to preview it. And then you will have to pay for hosting because, um, that's basically, and that's not, that's not money going to us. It's going to our hosting or if you want. Yeah. So that's basically, you only have to pay for that and the domain. And, um, Remember that um, our hosting will always um, be there for you. Any problems you have, just hit them up and they'll fix anything you need um, help with. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions also, just send an email to support at 5kclients.com and we'll try to help you any way we can. Also, check out the links in the description. You can join our Facebook group and see if we can help you there. Cheers, guys.